what I want to do today is go over some aspects of Apple Keynote. Apple Keynote presentations don't have to just be slides, bullet points, charts, and static images. You can have a lot more than that. And Keynote is very powerful and feature rich. And what I hope to show you today is some ways that you can bring your presentations to life. With Keynote, you start with a template. And I'm going to go to File and New. And it brings up the template interface. And you just choose a template to get started. And I'm going to choose one that has one of my favorite things in the world on it, food. So across the top, you have the toolbar. On the left-hand side, you have what I call the view sidebar. It shows you a lot of different things. And on the right-hand side here, now George, can you see that? All right, I see it on the screen. All right, so this is the inspector on the right-hand side. And depending on what you have selected in your slides, the inspector will show different things and also it's just as important what you don't have selected, and that will dictate what the inspector does and does not show. So I started off with this slide theme. It's called Renaissance. And what I did not get a chance to show you is that you can pick standard or widescreen. I picked widescreen. And I'll, I'll be able to show you that again in a minute. So looking at the interface, the first thing that I wanted to show you after you select a theme is that if I go over on the left hand side to the view menu, I want to select edit master slides. When you select a theme, you have all kinds of master slides that are inside of this theme. They, these master slides contain placeholders for images, they contain text fields, and all of this is formatted for you to easily select something that you like and start working on it. You can also edit these master themes. You can edit them and create your own and then save your own as a theme that you can use in Keynote if you, you know, decide that you don't like these and you just want to create your own. So you can save your own. So I wanted to show you this. And this, uh, I want to get out of this. There's two ways to get out of this. You can select Done down in the lower right-hand corner. And you can also go back up to the View menu. And you can select Exit Master Slides. So there's a lot in the themes. There's not just a blank page with text sitting here. So I want to go over to, whoops, I want to go over to the inspector side for a second. Because when you start off uh, in Keynote, you're given a title slide and a subtitle. So this is the very first slide, or for very first slide that you can start off with. Now, knowing that we never ever change our mind about things, what if you decide, well, I don't want to work with this master layout. I want to choose another one. So over on the right hand side in the inspector, I can select the change master button so that, okay, maybe I want to start with slide with a very large image and text at the bottom. Well, maybe not. Maybe I want to start with something that looks like this. So the idea here is that your first decision, which probably won't be your only decision, is not cast in stone. It is flexible. You can change it to whatever you want. And then, what if I decide, well, I really don't like this theme. I want to start with a blank slide because, or a little more blank, because maybe I just don't know exactly what I want to do. And that is a very valid starting point because most of the time you don't. So what if I want to actually change the theme that I'm using? So I'm going to go back over to the inspector. And this time I'm going to select the document icon in the upper right hand corner. And below in the inspector area, you have document and you have audio. I want to change the theme. So now 
the theme panel opens back up and you can see you have standard size and wide si wide screen size theme so I want to start off with the white theme and when I select choose it changes the theme that I'm working on so anything can be changed keynote is very flexible and how you can work with your documents so starting with this I'm going to change some things this is a template on this template you have a placeholder image placeholder you have text placeholders and I want to start by editing text 